in the equation above, which is a times the quantity of x plus b equals 4x plus 10, all right, we are given that a and b are both constants. That's important. Their values will not change. And the equation has infinitely many solutions. That is very, very important to this. Let's make sure those are more solid there. Um, for x, find b. If you see a question where they ask you if there are infinitely many solutions, so they say it's true for all values of x and you're dealing with constants, and we call this constants and coefficients because we have coefficients in front of our x values or in front of our variables. Uh, the important thing to note here is that this is going to let us do something really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and what I recognize here is I know that if I'm just trying to simplify this, there are a couple of things I can do. Um, for example, I can say, I can plug in the a here. I can distribute that. So I get ax plus ab and that still equals 4x plus 10. All right. Still acting like I have no idea what's going on in this problem, I'm able to um, at least move one level down. Now that's where this comes into play, okay? If I have this, that this is true for infinitely many solutions for, all, for x and that a or b are constants, this allows me to say that ax equals 4x. This means we have symmetry here. If I have a, b, that is going to be equal to 10. How I group these, can I assume A is 4? You don't have to assume. You can prove it. Yes. Prove it, Malouz. Um, the way you want to group these is by their variables, the degree of the variable. So this is, in theory, A, B, and 10 are x to the 0th power, meaning just 1. So my constants I group together. This is A times x to the 1st, and this is 4 times x to the 1st, so those go together. If I had an x squared value over here, it would go with the x squared value over here, and so on and so forth. And these two things right here, and mo mostly this right here, infinitely many solutions, allows us to know that this is true um, without a doubt. Meaning, a equals 4. You're right, Robot Dancer. And from there, I can say that ab equals 10, 4b equals 10, b equals 10 over 4, or 5 halves. I do want to throw something quickly in here. Um, the reason why Brennan was able to set these things equal, because the infinitely many solutions for x, if two equations are exactly the same, you could put any x value you wanted mm -hmm. in either of these sides, and the thing is going to end up being the same. Yep. So any value of x could work, hence infinitely many solutions, hence these two things must be exactly the same on the left and right side. Yes, sir.